CD Lamb got his money, but what about the guy who throws in the ball? Dak Prescott entering the final year of that four-year, $160 million contract that he signed back in 2021. Back then, it was big money. But now in the time since, quite a few QBs have passed his threshold. With the season just around the corner, if a deal's going to get done, time is running out. But Dak is still being asked about his pockets. Well, the natural question is, CD got paid, are you next? Uh, not really sure. Not um, not my focus anymore, to be honest with you. I um, told you guys that really can't say ever was really my focus. Um, it's about making myself and this team better, getting us in the best position, uh, and the most confident to go up to Cleveland and start the season off with a win. Have you instructed, have have you instructed you? Uh, with with Todd, or, or do you want to shut him down when the season starts? Um, no, I mean that's that's up to Todd and those guys. Once again, I'm not going to be a part of them here as the season starts. Um, uh, and, they, and they've been going. They've been going obviously heavily through Todd, Todd and Stephen both. Um, so yeah, it's just all part of it. My, as I said, my job and my focus now is control what I can. And um, as I said, well back in camp, it's two. It's two parts of this. Uh, both sides have to come to the agreement. You don't need a deal done before the season. Uh, I don't need a no, no. Do you, would you like it done before the season? Uh, I think it says a lot if it is or if it isn't. Um, but however, doesn't doesn't really matter to me to be honest with you. What does it say if it isn't? Just how people feel. And how people feel and the facts are sometimes different things. You see it when it comes down to the highest paid QBs by AAV, the top five in the league. You do not see Dak Prescott on there. Jordan Love and Trevor Lawrence and Joe Burrow all sitting at 55 mil. And probably Dak Prescott would like to join their company. But if that happens, remains to be seen. Now bringing our Cowboys expert, Garrett Podell. And Garrett, what's your feeling just being around the team, seeing Dak Prescott? Does a deal get done anytime here soon? I think it's been some mixed messaging here the last three days out at the Star in Frisco. So on Tuesday, I spoke with CeeDee Lamb after he signed his massive deal. And in CeeDee Lamb's words, he thinks a deal is going to get done. He said Dak wants to get a deal done. Jerry wants to get a deal done. And CD almost made a plea to everybody saying, Let, let, let's kill the drama, let's sit down and let's get this thing done. But then speaking to Jerry on Wednesday, I'm not so sure anymore because speaking to Jerry, he said this deal isn't necessarily about Dak Prescott's merit as the Dallas Cowboys starting quarterback. It's about our cap situation, our financial situation. And so, I, I'm not, and then you hear Dak there, and he's saying it would mean a lot if it got done, and there's gonna feel like he's somewhat disrespected if it doesn't get done before the season begins. So there's still time, we've got under two weeks. Uh, I was a lot more confident it would get done before these last few days. I think it's very much still possible. Like Dak said, his agent Todd France and Stephen Jones are still having regular communication, but I would say, Based on Dak's reaction to some of the comments Jerry made on Wednesday, it seems like things are starting to get a little bit testy. So now I think it's fair to say both scenarios are in play. We kind of even saw this with C.D. Lamb when he was responding to some of the things that Jerry Jones said back when he said that there was no urgency to get a deal done and C.D. kind of quote retweeted and said LOL back in response to that. So it feels like maybe sometimes you take everything Jerry Jones says with a grain of salt. But do you think at all this might become a distraction now that your QB wants to get paid and he's seen the others around him get their deal? I don't think, I mean, Dak said that he doesn't view this as, as a distraction at all because it's purely a blessing to be playing football. It hit, some of his other teammates might feel differently. And I think that's a really good point you made about CD because after CD signed, he said to us, look, Jerry's going to say whatever he's going to say, but as long as the deal gets done, we're all good. So I think it just boils down to Zach. If Jerry and Steven Jones can get this deal done with Dak and his agent, Todd France. I think everyone's gonna be good. And like Dak said, if this deal doesn't get done before the start of the season, then it's going to say a lot about how Dak feels like his own team values his money. And um, it's interesting that we're talking about this because Dak, I mean, Jerry said, it's not about Dak's merit as the starting quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, which makes you question, well, wait a minute, 
that's what all of this is about, right? What is how good is he as the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys? He led the NFL in touchdown passes last year. He had the best pass rating of his career, the second best in the NFL. The Cowboys led the NFL in scoring offense 29.9 points per game with Mike McCarthy calling the offensive plays for the first time uh, in his tenure as the Dallas Cowboys head coach. So all those things would indicate that, yeah, Dak probably should get paid, but it's going to be very interesting to see how much urgency, going back to how he described CD in training camp, he has for getting Dak done. And I think Jerry's playing a dangerous game. The longer he waits, if this goes into the season, that Dak could be on another team because Dak's got a no franchise tag clause and a no trade clause. And what that means is Dak can walk into unrestricted free agency, unencumbered. There's nothing Jerry Jones can do to stop him from doing that, which says to me that this before season deadline isn't really just about Dak's feelings and how he feels that Jerry's going to perceive him if this deal doesn't get done. If this deal doesn't get done before the season, Dak might be playing football somewhere else in 2025. Yeah, that's something that just seems interesting to even wrap your mind around the idea of Dak Prescott potentially playing for someone other than the Cowboys and knowing that Dallas still needs to pay Micah Parsons as well. And at some point, that well does run dry and you run out of money. In your heart of hearts, what do you think happens? Does a deal get done? And if not, will his days be done in Dallas after this season? I still think for all the public posturing Jerry's made saying it's not about Dak Prescott's merits, it's not, it's about our cap, this and that. I, th I think it gets done ultimately if he gets it done before the season. This deal, if there's real urgency to get this deal done before the season, I think Dak Prescott will remain a Dallas Cowboy. And so I'm still leaning in that camp right now, Zach. You check back in with me in a, in a couple weeks. If this deal's not done by September 8th and they're playing the Cleveland Browns and Dak's still playing out this contract, I might have a very different answer for you. But there is a path for Jerry to afford paying Micah Parsons, Dak Prescott, and CeeDee Lamb. They have future cap space in both in 2025 and 2026. If they get creative with the financial structure of this deal in terms of guaranteed money and cap hits and how, how you all arrange that, I think this deal gets done if Jerry decides that he wants to have a sense of urgency in these next two weeks. If not, I think it's going to be a very, very stressful time for Dallas Cowboys fans. Yeah, the season's coming, whether you like it or not, and whether a deal gets done or not, games still will be played. Garrett Podell, thank you so much for tapping in with us, talking Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. And this is the Cowboys schedule. They come out the gates, traveling to Cleveland to take on the Browns in week one. Quite a few nighttime primetime games, six of them which is tied for the most in the NFL this season. Then week two and three, they will be at home for back-to-back -back games. We'll see if the deal is done for Dak before that happens. And you know what's happening just in a few weeks? It's the NFL coming right back on CBS. And you know that we are your home for all the great games around the league. September 8th, that season begins. You hear the music, you get the feels. You know the time is now. Those games airing on CBS and also streaming on Paramount Plus all season long.